guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are gonna put together a couple super easy DIYs. There's not a whole lot of DI in my wine with these, but I wanted to show you what I did um, for my bathroom. And then when I decorate the bathroom, that'll be at the end and I will show you. But what I did is I took the nutcrackers from the Dollar Tree, I removed the hair I spray painted them white and then I just went in with chalk paint and I decorated them basically. Just gave them the accents of the colors that my bathroom is gonna be for Christmas, which is pink and this mint color. So that's really the only DIYing I did. It was super easy. I didn't spend too much time on it because really they're gonna be on a shelf and just for the holidays. I also have some of the, the mini trees I have some bottle brush trees, some ornaments. All of these things can be purchased at the Dollar Tree. Now, these trees that I'm using, these colored trees, I did get at the Target Dollar Spot two years ago, but I think that the Dollar Tree is coming out with, um, with their own in these different colors. And then I'm taking some white pom-poms. This bathroom that I'm decorating is super small. And so I don't really need a lot of decor pieces, literally just a couple. So that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm just putting a little hot glue on the end. Let me get it up here so you can see. And I'm gonna put this piece of the pom-pom trim. I want it on the front and I'm doing it first because I'm gonna be um, hanging or gluing down the, uh, what are they, nutcrackers. And I need this done first so they can dry. But, and I also am doing this a whole bead across. I'm not, I want it to stay up here. So we're gonna do a whole bead across. And you just wanna go you know, a little bit at a time so it doesn't dry before you stick the next piece down. And I'm just getting it up here. Super simple. You could also paint. This is a floating shelf that I got at the Dollar Tree over the summer. And I had an extra one. So this works out perfect. Oh, what did I do? I must have cut it short. That's okay. We will make it work. So, and again, this is simple, simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy project. So I'll just put you here and then we'll go around the corner and then I'll trim it over here. Nothing dramatic happening here. There we go. So that's done. And what will happen is when it's up on the shelf, you'll have the pom-poms hanging down. I love it. Now, this mat that I'm working on, I'm going to straighten it out for us, has the grid on it, which is perfect for me. So I know that this line here, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 inches. So 8 in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this line right here is the center. How easy is that? So I know that I want these two in the center, basically kind of facing each other. I'll show you a better view in a second, but I need them to be upright to do this. And then I'm just gluing them down. This cat is driving me bonkers today. Do you hear him in the background? He's giving in the treat jar. Okay. We're gonna put that here and give me a second for it to set up and you'll be able to see. 
and they're just attached in the center. Now, I feel like they need a little Christmas tree in the front here of them, maybe. Or a pink one. Oh, I like the pink one. So we're gonna attach the pink one right in the center. And these pink ones also came from the Dollar Tree, probably if I had to guess. I will say it came last year. But I'm doing these colorful bottle brush trees as decor, so I wanna use them where I can. Just gluing things, and I'm gluing them because this shelf doesn't sit still. And then I'm gonna put a couple ornaments, oops, just a couple bulbs on here like they're just sitting on the shelf. So I'm gonna give them a little. I'm also sitting them towards the front so they can be seen, right? And then I'll do the same thing over here. Just put that one over there. Nothing crazy here, guys. Just simple little decor pieces for Christmas time. And I think that is going to be completely adorable. I'll get you a better view when they're actually hanging. I want to let this dry now. And then I'm determining if I want a couple, like a couple white trees, the tall white ones, maybe behind each one because I want it to feel like a winter wonderland or like sugar prom fairies, you know, the nutcracker. There we go. These are like the best thing. I should have bought more. I only got one of each color. There we go. So that one is done. It's gonna go over here to the side and it's gonna dry. By dry, I mean cool, obviously. Now, I took two pieces of this birch wood and glued it together, painted it the color that I wanted. And I'm going to attach these three trees onto this little wood to make it sit in my bathroom. I Like I said before, I have a very small surface to decorate in the bathroom, and so I want to make the best bang for my buck. Also, I'm, I'm gonna hang up some garland, but I already showed you making the ornaments. So when I take you on the tour in a little bit, you'll see it all put together. And I even found some hand towels to match, which makes me excited. And then we're gonna put two of these little gold, these little gold trees from the dollar, the Dollar Tree pack of gold trees. And that is it. If you wanted, you could do some fake snow, like put some glue and some fake snow on it. I don't, I'm not doing that right this second, or I don't plan on it for this project, but one never really knows. And then that's what this is going to look like, but it will be standing up and I have everything attached to this wood so it won't keep knocking over. So these are the right, guys for my bathroom. One last little piece and then I can do the tour. This was just a sign I got from the Dollar Tree. The colors match perfectly. So all I did is I ripped the backing off. It was just card stock paper. And then I'm going to not cut my finger off because that's important. And take this piece out of here. I'm not Oh, I said I wasn't, thought I wasn't going to mess with that, but that's not quite true. I am going to mess with that because I need to get that glass out, but I want to keep those sequins. So they're right here. And all I'm going to do is take this razor blade and take and get off this black print. That is it so easy. Uh, the razor blade also it comes from the Dollar Tree. So I don't even need to worry about that. I got all of that out. I do want to clean the glass on the inside because, you know, fingerprints. So I 
I will clean that up on the inside. I will also clean up on the outside. Again, fingerprints on the glass. Let's see if I cannot. There we go. So it's all cleaned out. I'm gonna put this back in. How easy, oops, sorry. How easy was that? I have sequins everywhere, but that's okay. Now, I didn't know which backing I wanted to use, but I'm pretty certain it's gonna be this one. So, I'm just going to trace it onto some cardstock that I got in a little pack. I'll show you up close. See, I use these pencils all the time, guys. I'm not even kidding. When I get those zebra, We are just cutting this out and it's just some metallic and I make sure I want to go upwards with the bolts. I'm putting it inside. And that's it. Now it's a Christmas. Now it's a Christmas picture with sequins in it. How fun is that? So all I need to do is potentially get some hot glue on here. And I'm just trying to make it look pretty. That is all. Oop. Yeah, we're good. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue back here. Hold it in place. And guys, that is it. Now I could put some cricket words out here if I want. I just don't want to. I really just want to leave it plain. And you'll see when you tour the bathroom where I'm putting it. All right, tour's up okay, now. Hey guys, here is my Christmas setup with the pinks and the mint green. So here's the shelf I made. Oh, I love it. And the little pom-poms. And then I have these candles from last year. And then there's the garland that I set up using the eyeglass thing, string. And then the, the pink glitter that I made. And then these I bought. And down here we have my little village of trees or a little crop of trees in the same mints and green. And on this wall I went to Bath and Body and I just got a simple snowflake. And then over here is my towel rod where I keep the let's not use these towels. <laughs> and this one has a polar bear with a little penguin with the crown. I love it. And then the picture that I made, which I think looks so sweet. I even brought a bow in here, guys. You'll be so proud of me. Made a little bow to hang it from. And then on this one, we have the penguin and the skiing snowman. And I did get these towels at um, Hobby Lobby. So that is everything in my tiny little bathroom. So I hope you enjoyed my pink little winter wonderland and you guys get some inspiration to do your own.